Uh, can you guess, Lee, or anybody on TikTok, especially M, who said, hey, uncle, uh, uh, on TikTok, um, can you guess uncle what, Jose. Sharp, what Sharp on the Saw is about? Anybody? Anybody? TikTok, Lee, the audience on YouTube, let's go. So is it, Joe? Is it? Oh, we've got some nice little likes on the YouTube. Thank you, people, for sending them through. Is this to do with improving your skills? Something in that it vein? It is. You're yeah, you're absolutely right. So that, it's actually, not just a hat rack. No, it's not just a hat rack. It's a very intelligent hat rack. <laughs> you flatter me. And, uh, <laughs> so this is, this, this is about renewal. It's about continuous learning. So essentially what Stephen is talking about in his book, he's talking about how you renew all the habits. I love this, this one because it's basically just making sure you keep yourself on point, uh, making sure that you keep practicing the habits that we do. And one of the things I want to talk about is a little model we've got in here. And it talks about PC, which is production capacity. That's the that's you. So production, what you can produce, which adds value. So he calls it PC in the book, and that's page 288 of this particular version, okay? So I want to show you on YouTube, there's a circle, and I will explain on the audio as well. So on the audio, there's, I'll just do a little bit more on there. So the audio, for your audio listeners there, the, there's a circle, and the, on the top of the circle is physical. So there's four elements to self-development. One's the physical, that's exercise, nutrition, stress management. If you go across the circle, across to the right, then it's social and emotional, which is service, empathy, synergy, intrinsic security. Then if you go around the circle, half the circle down the bottom is spiritual, so it's value, clarification, commitment, study, and meditation. And then lastly, is mental, which is reading, visualizing, planning, and writing. To sharpen the sword and keep yourself developing and to keep moving forward, it's all about developing those four, as always. So how do we how do we develop the physical dimension? How do we develop our social and service element? How do you do the spiritual? You know, do we do meditation? How do we do the mental? So let me just explain how I do this. So for the physical, for me, I've currently just taken up tennis. I've done running before, as I've done the podcast. So I try and do that. I try to, I don't always succeed. I'm trying to eat healthier, but it doesn't always happen. I had a curry tonight, which was lovely, by the way. I had a curry tonight. But the whole thing is if you can genuinely eat healthy, that's the whole thing. So exercise and nutrition. Um, social, like social and emotional, which is the service, uh, empathy, synergy, intrinsic security. For me, that's, the podcast, right? So that for me is service, providing a service. We do this for free. You know, Lee, Lee, Ryan, and myself, we come on and we, we want to share experiences so you can learn and develop and accelerate through coaching, right? So that's that for me, that's social and emotional. And also there's that piece of it says they're intrinsic security. So if we go back to some other episodes, and Lee, please feel free to jump in. We talk about Maslow's hierarchy of needs and where we got that sort of security part of the Maslow. So I reckon that is, for me, that's not tapping into that part and then there's a the spiritual which is meditation a spiritual doesn't mean it's religion it just means you know do you have beliefs do you do meditation do you take time out to just be by yourself and just just discover more about yourself by meditating just letting thoughts run and really contemplation that's what that's about contemplating where you're going what's happening with you processing life essentially and then you've got the mental where is the it's the it's the mental uh, exercise i.e like reading um, new getting new strategies in like for me and my work and doing this actually podcast fits quite a bit quite a few preparing for the podcast like reading this i read this before coming to the podcast so things like that you know all the other coaching books that i've got as well like coaching for performance <laughs> uh like uh where's the coaching habit gone it's around here somewhere but there's a coaching habit by michael michael bungai stein i don't know i probably popped it somewhere but i love them oh where has it gone i heard it here a minute oh, ago he's lost um, it he's lost it oh no it's a great book by the way what's happened to that book anyway but I love coaching, so as you know, I just really struck. Where's that book gone? It's like disappeared off the face of the earth. It's weird. But I was using it today because I was doing coaching training today. And that's why I think it's weird why it's disappeared. I'll try and find it in a minute. But essentially, these are the things that help you renew. Uh, I write in my, did I write, I wrote in my um, journal the other day, just to, to remind myself, Lee, what you were talking about earlier about non judgment, being kind to yourself, kindness to others, um, and also that stoic practice. So those are the sorts of things that I do following that circle now it's not perfect you know i don't do things perfectly i fall off sometimes like everybody else but this is what this is about